past year, um, there was a biological opinion that came uh, uh, was produced by the um, Department of Fish and Wildlife, which is a, a federal agency. Um, there, they were sued uh, by environmental groups to protect the Delta smelt. Well, what that did effectively was that cut back water that would would have been delivered to us. Um, and that water basically flowed out to the ocean. So that, that biological opinion took away more than what just the drought took away. We only got 10%. 10% uh, allocation is nothing. Now we're dependent on basically uh, developed water, water that comes from Northern California into the valley. There's a sort of a hierarchy of water rights in this, in this valley. Basically what, what that means is that um, the irrigation districts immediately north of the Westlands are going to get most of their water. The very first people to get water are the people who have historical water rights or riparian rights. We're around Farba, the city of Farba, those are what Joe was talking about. Those are the historical water rights. They get their water first. These are people that settled on the rivers, along the rivers, <clears throat> and they had old riparian rights and they get the first water and they get all their water before the next group gets any. And the next group after that is actually the refuges. Then after that come the municipal and industrial cities, uh, places like Santa Clara Water District, um, Metropolitan Water District and so forth. And then we're the last guys. So first, the you know, these others have to be fulfilled before they get to us. It's a bucket line. The last people in line may not get any water. The Westlands knew that. We're the last guys on the totem pole. We're the guys at the end of the pipeline, you know, who get the last water, if there's any water. So we're the first ones to take the hit. We're the first ones to be cut back. And we're the ones who are cut back the most severe. 